How are you folks? Welcome back to another film. We're on a mission. We're on a mission to Scotland. So, we've got a few days off. I've had a look at the weather, and the weather's favourable. But we're on our way up to the Cairngorms. We're looking for mountain hares. Now, I've tried photographing them before. We went up to, um, where did we go? Well, around the Findorn Valley. Stayed up at Fort Augustus. And we had a fantastic time up there, but I didn't have any success finding the mountain hares. Loads of deer and that, I slipped, put me back out on some ice, so it was a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a disastrous trip to be honest in terms of photography. So I've done a bit of research and there's a healthy population up around the Glenshe area, so that's where we're heading. Um, super excited, I'm saying the weather looks bang on. I've had a look at the webcams. Uh, there's there's webcams all over the Cairngorms, especially around the ski areas. So I've had a look. The snow isn't as deep as what it was a couple of weeks ago. It's it's been warmer up here than it has been down south, which is typical. So they've lost a bit of snow, but right up on the tops, there's still plenty knocking about. So that's the plan. We're going to get up there. The original plan was to camp up there, drag the tent up, and all that, but. I need a new bag. I need a new bag because <laughs> that Shimoda X70 just ain't big enough. You know, I know with that big 500 Prime now and, and the Z9 and all the vlogging gear and food and, you know, blah, blah. So we'll, we'll address that in the future. But for now, ready up there. We should get up there about, I don't know, maybe half 11, 12 o'clock, midnight. Going to sleep in the car. That's the plan. We're just going to pull up somewhere. We've got a a bed made. I've um, I've refigured the dipper deck. It's now the uh, the X Trail deck 2023. <laughs> so we're sleeping on that tonight and for the next couple of nights. Uh, we've got a big air mattress on it, so we should be all right. We're pretty packed up, but um, got a lot of food in here, stoves, water, you name it. We've enough uh, keep us enough to keep us going for a few days anyway. So we shall all be well. See you in the morning. Hopefully you can hear me all right. We've had a bit of an unsuccessful stop. Hey, they're quite twitchy. Twitchy than I thought they'd be, to be honest. But I've just, I'm in between one of the one of the ski runs and I've just spotted two up on the top of that hill. So I think wind-wise, we're going to head. The wind, the wind's blowing that way. So I want to get, I want to get uh, kind of downwind of them really. So we're going to head over there, it's probably, I don't know, I don't think it's as far as it looks to be honest, maybe a quarter of a mile, but it is, uh, yeah, it's tough going, so I'm glad I brought the snowshoes with me, that was a, a definite uh, bonus bringing them, 
it doesn't look deep, but in parts it's uh, you know it's up over your knees, so it just makes life a bit easier, makes it a lot easier going. But um, yeah, what a place! Look at that. The sun's shining. It's just about shining. Just coming through again. So let's get up there and let's see if we can get some pictures. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. Right, so I was working my way down this, this hillside and I spotted I spotted a mountain about <clears throat> I don't know, maybe about 400 yards away. So I ditched the bag. All I had was the camera. I just took the camera with me. I've not brought any bean bags up with me, so it was just a case of hand holding anyway. <clears throat> the wind's blowing down this way, so I wanted to get get downwind of it. Walk down this bit of a down this bottom of the hillside. Spotted another one. 
so I decided to go for that one instead so it was in a bit of a it had made a scrape and wow two hours it took me thing is with these mountaineers you've got to take it really slow just <clears throat> just get eyes on and then let them get comfortable you've got to watch the body language watch their ears and um, wow you won't believe how close I got to it it's just perseverance with it. <laughs> the camera's shaking I'm absolutely freezing I've been led on a big snow banking like I said for nearly two hours now so <clears throat> I've got cold so I'm gonna get me I'm gonna get me insulated jacket on now warm up a bit and then I'll take you down and show you show you exactly how close I got to it Well, if you sit colour me, <laughs> my hands, my hands have stopped working. <laughs> Got to get me damn zip up. So yeah, I came back after I took, managed to get them pictures of that hair. I came back and I couldn't find my bag. What a nightmare! I was panicking, properly panicking. Because I mean, look at the size of the place. I put the damn bag down. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't locate it, so I just <sighs> calmed down a bit, got my binoculars out, and luckily I'd, uh, I managed to locate it. Yeah, that'd have been fun, wouldn't it? Using a camera bag full of, full of gear. <laughs> right, that's better. Let's get a quick drink. Another thing as well, when you come out, come out like this on the uh, on the hillside, up in the mountains, don't put too much stuff on. Be um, <coughs> comfortably cool when you set off. If you're lugging a big bag like that around, and it looks, I mean, it, it's cold, but it's not. Um, You've just got to <coughs> think about your layering. So all I had on was a like a Heli Hansen thin layer, and then this coat. Because once you start trekking with a big bag on like that, you're going to get really warm, and you're going to start sweating. And then when you stop, you're going to get cold. So <coughs> it's a it's a good idea to just put one layer on. This jacket is so warm, fantastic. It's a Paramore. Not had it long, but. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with it. Good venting as well. You can see the vents on there. This venting really came in because I was led down there and my hands were they were freezing. So all I did, you see how it vents. So if you if you're overheating these jackets, the idea is you don't take them off and put something thinner on, you just vent the arms and the amount of heat that comes out of there. Well what I did, you can see you see colouring me. <laughs> See colour in my hands there, my fingers have gone white. I just uh, I put it in there and just held it in my armpit. It's nice and warm in there and it's surprising how it came back to life because I was struggling to operate the camera so we'll get there, we'll get my mittens on in a minute. Right, let's have a wander down there and I'll show you I'll show you how close we got to this area. Uh,
so you can maybe see the issues that I had so this this snow isn't fresh and it's kind of frozen on the top it's formed like a crust so it was kind of playing in my advantage but it was also playing against me because it's supporting me weight it's quite deep this and um, so it's kind of supporting me when you've got a subject in front of you you want to maintain the smallest profile you can so you don't want to start putting your arms out if you can and you don't want to start spreading your legs out because the bigger the profile you make the more chance there is of that animal seeing you so you want to try and like create like a slimline profile if you will so like there if I start putting my arms out and my legs out it just makes me look a bit bigger so try and stack everything in your favour so all I was doing trying to keep my elbows tucked in and then just sticking my toes into the ground and kind of propelling myself forward by using my toes and it's not a quick process it's not something that you can rush so it's just a case of inching forward literally just keep your elbows tucked in inch forward and then the problem is like I said it's working against me you get to a point where it's supporting you and then all of a sudden your elbow punch through the snow and it makes a bit of a noise and a couple of times the hair like I said just keep an eye on the you know the um, the behavior and what they're doing so keep eyes on and just watch their ears and if their ears go down or they pick you know they prick up you know that they've clocked you so just put your head down just give it five minutes and you know they'll realize that there's no danger and they'll just start to relax again and then you can systematically just keep moving forward all I were doing when I set off I took a few pictures made me way probably another 10 meters took some more pictures don't think right I'm gonna get I'm gonna get 20 meters off it and then bang 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 take all your pictures because invariably if you do that you'll end up with no shots because it'll bugger off so just keep edging your way forward take a few snaps and I couldn't believe how close I got to that hair it just I don't know it was amazing really absolutely <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm meadow I'm suited to bits with that if I don't get anything else on this trip I that's done it for me that's that's made the trip so there's another one up here as well but the lights going so I might just I might stick the video head on the tripod and just try and get a bit of bit of uh, distance stuff so yeah I'm gonna have to get back now because it's starting to it's starting to draw in a bit but the, the cloud base is dropping so that's the technique that I adopted for this particular one so tomorrow we're up early I'm gonna get back up to where we saw them first thing this morning weather permitting and uh, there, there were a lot up there but I don't know I thought they'd be a bit um, a bit less worried with all skiers knocking about but this part this end of the valley where I've come there's no one about and and say I managed to get really close to that one so just shows doesn't it right time to head back get some tea and warm up see you in a bit another one literally 300 meters halfway up the hill so the winds in my favor it's just out there sheltering so I'm just gonna head off to the right of it and then I don't know see if I can work my way across that's the plan Down. 
down because I was heading up for that one that I seen there's one right in front of me a bit nearer 200 yards but it's got a fantastic view of everything including me so this is going to be a going to be another one of them it's a slow stalk hands and knees see how far we can get I've got a reasonable path up through the heather we had quite a lot of heavy rain last night so it shifted a fair bit of snow on the lower levels which I don't know for me moving about it's a bit of an advantage because it's easier for me to crawl through the heather I've got my waterproof pants on I've got my gaiters on so I can see it's ears moving like two radar dishes probably locked onto me right now so we'll get the camera out leave the bag here try and remember where I've left it this time <laughs> and hands and knees all the way let's see if we can get some more shots Gloves. See how lucky they are today, eh? And Ed Vale. I say it all the time cover up as many white bits as you can. I know we're in the snow, but I don't know just gives me that bit of extra confidence I'll show you what I've done with this as well now this was a balaclava but it also had me real tree head veil and it was a bit of a swine to put on so I've just stitched it to the balaclava so all you have to do on this one is find the hole for the front there we go pull it over and it stays in position a lot better still got that metal piece in for the nose pull that down and we're good to go Before you set off, just have a look at your settings. Don't forget, if you're shooting against the snow, it's going to want to underexpose it, so you need to knock your exposure up. So get your settings there or thereabouts, so you're pretty much ready to go because that thing might bolt at any time. Let's go.
Fantastic. Yes. Another one. Wow. I didn't spend it long with that one. But so we, <laughs> I spotted that first one and I was walking up, spotted another one directly in front of me and it just uh, it clocked me straight away. Even though I was taking my time and um, to get my hat on. Yeah. So that one, that one clocked me. Then another, another two got up. There were three ran straight up the uh, up the mountain, and I got a little. I think I got a still shot of them running away, uh, which is not what you want, really, is it? But that one on the left that we spotted first, that was still there. So I just made my way up, hands and knees, in the snow, trying not to sink in. It's, I don't know. It's like a, it, it's like an icy crust on top, but. If you just, you know, wind your hands, try and make yourself as <laughs> make your hands as big as they, you know, they, they can go, and hopefully you'll spread your weight, and you know you'll not punch through the snow. But a couple of times I went through, but I was just taking my time. It took me about, I don't know, it only took me about ten minutes to get up to it. And when I did, when I could see it, I got down low, and there was a bit of a mound in front, so it kind of it went behind the mound, which is what I want because if I can't see the herd, it's not going to be able to see me. And took my way up, direct line to it, and then just really, really slowly over the top of the mound, and it was still sat there. And I got, oh, I hopefully got some nice stills. It was just sat there, you know, no, no movement really, and uh, it afforded me about 10 minutes, so I got a little bit of footage. Um, I got some stills, hopefully they're okay, and then the snow started coming in. <laughs> so I might have got a few moody shots, which is uh, nice to see the mountaineers in a bit of weather, because they, oh, they don't have to suffer some weather up here. It's brutal. And I'm only, literally, I'm only 200 yards from the, uh, from the ski centre. So that's a good start, but it's coming in again, as you can see. <laughs> so... Hold up time, get this camera covered up and we'll crack on. Well, folks, <laughs> that is it for this one. What a fantastic trip. Absolutely brilliant. Two days of magic. Wow. So, yesterday, got up here. Supposed to be a bit of a recce mission yesterday, to be honest. But it ended up a full-on, full day. And, uh, yeah, learning point from uh, you know not coming down too late off the hill and map and compass and all that but we were all right we got we got off so today up early i'm only on the back of the hill near the ski center if i spin you around there you go you can see i'm not uh, i'm not far away at all but i spotted them on this bit and i thought there's no point traipsing right up into the hills you know if they're knocking about around here i'll just concentrate on this bit and i had <coughs> three fantastic stalks the first two um first one i probably got 20 25 meters off got a few nice photos again just static because they were just sheltering the second one up here near the rocks wow i got again like yesterday i got to within about nine ten meters and it just just wasn't bothered by me at all at the end i sat up and uh you know just to get a little bit of a different different perspective and it, it weren't too fussed to be honest it just sat there and uh, i just eased off got away 
and then the last one I saw sat up on the um, it was actually sat on the snow on the side of the heather and I got about 30 meters off it <clears throat> and it ran I thought I'd lost it anyway it just just came back over the brow of the hill got a little bit of footage of it coming back and then all of a sudden this big snowy banking that I'm sat on now you know you can see there it just it just set off running and I had the um, 3D eye recognition the 3D tracking on the on the Z9 and the eye recognition it just picked it up absolutely it nailed it and I was on about a thousandth of a second plenty of light today and it, I got some fantastic pictures of it running down here that were airborne and you know a bit of snow flying up so that was a that was an absolute bonus I really I wasn't expecting that at all so yeah it's been a fantastic two days you know it was a bit of a short notice trip the weather tomorrow is a bit skanky and it's going to rain so we're going to lose quite a bit of the snow so I'm going to head back tonight back down to Lancashire tonight it's a five hour drive but you know you've just got to do it haven't you you know if you get the opportunity I saw a winder in the weather uh, had a look on the webcams there's quite a bit of snow still up here so it was a case of get up here as quick as I could and I've got the shots in the bag and that's what it's all about for me you know any of you youngsters out there who are um, you know fit enough and daft enough like me <laughs> and you're just getting into wildlife photography this is what it's about well it is for me anyway you know, a bit of rough in it. I've been sleeping in car for the last couple of nights. And uh, yeah, that, that's what it's about. You know, if you're just getting into wildlife photography, this is what you need to be doing. Get up on the mountains, get your tent in the, in the back, get up in the forest and just, just have an adventure. That's what, that's what it's all about, make an adventure of it. So, like I said, that's it for me. I'm gonna get down now. I'm gonna go and get a brew, warm up, because it's gone a bit cold. Um, head back home tonight and ready for the next one I'm going to endeavour I've, I've made a promise to myself to try and get a film out every two weeks this year that is that is the goal uh, once a week's too much there's um, I don't know there's, there's just too much pressure on you to get a film out every week so I think once a fortnight is is doable we'll chuck some reviews in there I think we're going to do a review on the V6 next because there's quite a few people ask me about that so, from an absolutely stunning Scotland, I'm away. If you've liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do, because it helps the channel out massively. Um, hit the bell icon, and then you'll get a notification of any new films that are coming out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Catch you out there.